Hi, I'm Susanna Ones. I work with uh, different open culture organizations in Finland and globally. My job title is GLAM coordinator. The main benefits of open GLAM as I see it uh, is the gradual emergence of the commons, which is in this case shared information and content about cultural heritage. And that can be combined together from different perspectives. Permissive, permissive sharing conditions allow extracting information from text and media, combine that with other content and therefore accumulate knowledge in collaboration with several other people. There are many barriers to open glam. Making cultural heritage digitally available for free use is a grand idea that can likely never be carried out completely. There are more valued works that will be digitized and privileged cultural memory institutions that can carry out that work and those that are in more disadvantaged position. There are many juxtapositions also, the under-resourced versus the well-resourced, the canonical versus the common, etc. Sharing openly is the next big leap after digitization. There's also another threat. There's interest in monetizing any popular artifacts. And in this sense, the canonical ones are the ones in danger to be locked down from that perspective. So it's about money, skills, appreciation, and willingness to invite networks of people to take part in this care and custody of the works that are at the institution, for example but also in the possession of private people and networks and clubs and, and associations. What opened my <clears throat> eyes to cultural, uh, open cultural heritage uh, was when I, in the early years of the century, while I was still studying at the Media Lab at Aalto University, I started drafting ideas for a collaborative space for sharing, combining, and creating storytelling around materials by different contributors. I soon came to realize that it would not be possible if all the data and materials would have different restrictions and limitations. It was the time of the start of the Creative Commons licenses, Wikipedia and others also. Eventually, this led me to join these Open Glam networks actually years later. I have picked up the idea uh, in this, uh, of this um, shared space in the Wiki Documentaries project. And I can see how beautifully it can happen in this open landscape. Um, a Finnish um, a professor of film studies uh, wrote a book about uh, like a broken mirror and how compilation film is to uh, put together this broken mirror. And I think this is uh, what we can do with in this open landscape. So what I would like to uh, say to those who are hesitating to go open, uh, I think one should think about how to invite others and do the core activities of the preservation together to preserve and enrich the cultural heritage in the possession of the of the institution and how you can include more voices in the stories you are preserving and passing on. <laughs>